What's up everybody? That's right, it's CA Wise Voice again with another video. Okay, so today I'm gonna be doing a comparison of the two Godzilla figures, one from Godzilla vs. Kong and one from King of the Monsters. So I believe this one is from Playmates and that one's from Jack Specific. Also, for the record, for the record, I do have the other two 2019 Godzilla figures well, in the miniature 6 inch line, but uh, I'm just going to use the charged one because, you know, they match because that's the only Playmates Godzilla I have. Anyway, I guess we should jump into the comparison. I will pull this guy off to the side and center on this guy. So, here's the figure. He's pretty... I mean, he's got some texture, just basic, like, skin texture. He's got a little bit of painting. I mean, the painting's pretty okay. It does what it needs to do. It looks pretty cool. I mean, he's, again, pretty small. But the horrible part is the eyes. If you look at the eyes, look at that. Do you see that? They didn't even try. Those are just blue blobs on the eyes. It's really... And the, and the teeth, they did not do high detail for them. If I can get this to zoom in on the camera... Okay, will it work? Come on. No? Uh, I, okay, I'm wasting too much time. It focuses in right there. As you can tell, not great. The articulation rotates 360 at the head. Up and down at the shoulder. But he does not move at the mouth. His tail twists 360 kind of loose when you do it all the way down feet just go up and down so I mean he's more of like a rah rah toy he's pretty basic he came with a playset so it adds value but alone he's not that great I would say he's pretty bad for a Godzilla figure I mean these guys are supposed to be like taking on your other action figures let me use the same one again like supposed to be stomping and knocking over and Ellie Sattler is taller than Godzilla so I'll set him aside. Now, let's move on to the amazing, yeah, I know, I'm foreshadowing, Playmates figure. Now, this guy is pretty, pretty big, as you can tell. Much bigger than the last one. Long tail, kind of making it hard to fit him in, but I can, I can do it. Let's just pull this guy out of frame shot. So, let's start with the articulation. Uh, he does, he rotates a little bit the head, very stiff. His jaw does open, his eye also has a pupil, instead of just a blob, and his teeth are higher detail, he has pink in the mouth, this is not focusing, pretty nice, you know, basic black, this is translucent now, so that makes it way cooler, and it looks like it's like, coming up from his back, the light, and then it just gets to basic, like, painting, you know, I don't know what you call it when you do that, it's like, just a little bit of paint. There it goes off his tail. There is a ball joint right here. His arms move up and down. Pretty basic. They could... Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can kind of do it if you just pull it out from his uh, waist. You can do a 360 at the shoulder. He also moves at the... Again, he's, there's no really way to pose him at the feet, but his legs do move up and down. Now, the, one of the best features with this line is the little... uh damage, the battle damage. It's under, the little flab is right there, and then boom! This is battle damage, and there's a big scar. Probably where he was supposed to get hit with the axe, when Kong does that hype move, where he deflects the blast with the axe. Kinda, kinda like a Thor thing, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that's probably where they got inspired. It's just a little piece, you know. Uh... It's pretty easy to get back on, but uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble. And mm, I'll just leave it off. It looks cooler. Okay. Not because I can't. And look at that. That looks pretty cool. I can't lie. I would say, now let's compare them side by side. Because this is a comparison, not a review. They're, they're supposed to be reviewed together. Size, as you can tell, this guy is much bigger. By like three times. Length, I mean, look. It's not, it's, I mean, he's got a pretty long tail, but clearly Playmates is bigger. Uh, I guess we can do dorsal fins. He has better, bigger ones. 
I guess, detail. I mean, the bodies are just, you know, kind of bumpy texture. If you heard that, that's my cat. Uh, hopefully she doesn't meow too often. She just likes meowing in the background a lot. Because she constantly needs attention. Faces. Oh, there she goes again. Okay. I will be right back. I will deal with my cat. Catzilla. I don't know. Be right back. Okay, the cat situation is dealt with. The cat is safely contained and now no longer wanting to cry. But back to the review. So you saw much longer is the Playmates one. Better, higher detail. I was talking about the texture. I mean, it's just a basic bumpy reptile texture kind of thing going on. Nothing special. No real fuel, plastic, or rubber. Uh, uh, you know, paint job, clearly superior. This one's also bigger. This one also has a better inside of the mouth. Clearly better. You can see very well. Now, there's not much to say. I mean, it's a, it was a clearly, won, clearly won by Playmates at the start of the video. Like, instantaneously. And you know what? Just to give a little bit more uh, content, I'll just show you guys the other one miniature six inch figures from 2019 jack specific godzilla king of the monsters play toy line but yeah here we go this one's just a little this is the burning godzilla with the burning dorsal fins uh the tail is the exact same as that one i think they all have the same tail if you look the uh horn stops immediately <clears throat> and then there's also the least cool <coughs> excuse me basic Godzilla which is just basic Godzilla yeah <clears throat> so after very in depth clearly in depth comparison I have determined yes that the play playmates yeah playmates one has defeated Jack Specific. Can this guy like ride this guy? He kinda can ride him. So that will be the conclusion to my video. So let me just zoom in. That is going to conclude this comparison. Actually, you know what? Before I before I and this, let me grab something that just will just boost my confidence with my decision. That no one in the comments would be like, well, Jack Specific, actually something something. If you do this, boom. This guy comes with an atomic breath. Look at this. If I can get this to go. Look at that. Isn't that sick? Isn't that sick? Godzilla burning Godzilla. So I think that's going to wrap the video. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, hit that like. Hit that subscribe button. Click up there for another amazing video. Down there for the playlist for more videos like this. And right there to subscribe with those notifications to watch all my new uploads. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Or sometime. I don't upload very consistently. Goodbye.